OK, so you want to have animated wallpaper in Windows 11 or Windows 10. Your first step is to go into the Microsoft Store. So click on your Start button on the taskbar. Type in Microsoft Store, and it should appear here in the search list. And then at the top here, you can search for an app, and the app is called Lively Wallpaper. You then want to install the app. Now, once it's been downloaded, you'll get the open button. So if you click on that, and then I'm just going to expand this window. So your first step might be to try one of the animations that appear here. So for example, I'm going to choose this jellyfish. And now if I minimize this app, and I'll close the Microsoft Store, you can see that I now have that animation on my desktop. Now, some of these animations are customizable. So for example, I can see here, Matrix Rain is customizable. So if I select that, and minimize the app so you can see what happens by default. So I get that matrix effect. What I can do is right click on this animation and go to customize and I can change the font color. So let's say we wanted this pink color. Click on OK and then minimize it. And now you can see I'm getting pink lettering rather than green lettering. I can also utilize the rainbow effect. So let's look at another example where we can customize an animation. We'll look at this fluids one. Let's just apply the default. You can see that effect there. So if I customize this animation, I get lots of options here that I can play around with. Not sure what they all do, but let's see. Seems to follow the mouse around your desktop, which is quite nice. Now, if you want to add your own animated wallpaper, you can do that by clicking on this Add Wallpaper button and then browsing for a video file. So I'm going to click on Open. And I've got a video here, a wildlife video, which I'm going to select and then click on Open. And then click on OK. So here's the video playing on my desktop. I don't think I'll actually use this particular facility, but it's nice to know that it's there. Now, back in this Add Wallpaper dialog box, there are two other options. You can actually specify a URL for something like a YouTube video to play in the background of your desktop. Again, not something I'd think I'd use, but this one I might use advanced create a dynamic wallpaper. So if I click on that and then click on this option here, depth wallpaper, what that's going to allow me to do is pick an image, click on open, and it's gonna create a 3D or depth effect for this image. So if I click on continue, and then minimize this app. There's my picture on my desktop. Now, if I move my mouse left and right, you can see that effect. It is subtle, it's not dramatic, but you can see it's working. I'm getting a kind of 3D effect on the image. So this is gonna work well for some images and not for others, but it might be worth exploring. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.